Hi everyone, we are on day eight of the Promise of Purpose 21 Days devotional. This has been really fun and it's uh, it's really cool for me because as I go through this, I'm actually getting encouraged in this. The Word of God is one of those things that's in our heart, but it, it needs to be activated. And um, one way for us to do that is to listen to devotionals like this, read books like The Promise of Purpose, go to my website and get those downloads full of scriptures and information to help you really bring God's vision for your life to reality and fulfill the promise of purpose. Okay, we are on a devotional that's called Glass Ceilings Shattered on purpose. This is really from the taking the limits off teaching and we're going to start with a declaration. God is my hero and he will defeat my enemies. Limitations will no longer keep me from breaking through to a beautiful and a broad place. Ooh, I like that. We're going to start with the scripture Psalms 11, I'm sorry, Psalms 118 five through eight, and I'm gonna read this to you in the Passion Translation. Here we go, it says this. Out of my deep anguish and pain, I prayed, and God, you helped me as a father. You came to my rescue and broke open the way into a beautiful and broad place. Now I know, Lord, that you are for me, and I will never fear what man can do to me. For you stand beside me as my hero who rescues me. I've seen with my own eyes the defeat of my enemies. I've triumphed over them all. Lord, it is so much better to trust in you to save me than to put my confidence in someone else. Wow, that is so powerful. He is our hero. And you know, we can invite him in to be our hero. I really like what this says too. First of all, he helps us as a father. And I think a lot of us, we have natural fathers. I have an amazing natural father. But you know what? My dad can't be with me all the time. And frankly, he can't give me what I need as a father. You know, (laughs) he can as I'm little and he brings me up, but he's really pointing me to the father that is the source of all things. And so I have a great example and experience of a father that loves me. Um, some of you maybe don't have that experience and, and I'm, I'm really sorry, that's a very difficult situation. However, God is there and he is ready to be invited in to be that father to you. It's really beautiful and that hero, kind of like that superhero that comes and rescues us, right? And I really like how he talks about that he brings us and breaks open the way to a beautiful and a broad place. When I think about beautiful and broad, I think about limitless, meaning that it's wide open. I don't have to be in a confine of what my life can be like based on my own limitations. And that's what this devotional is all about, about breaking open those glass ceilings that we can be confined in based on several things. And I cover that in the book, four areas that oftentimes um, causes us to put limits on ourselves. But a glass ceiling is an invisible hindrance that we're often not fully aware of. A matter of fact, most of the time we're not fully aware that it's there and it is intended to limit our success. So another tool the enemy uses to distract or derail you from fulfilling your purpose is to try to put these glass ceilings or limits on our life. Limitations can be placed on us from the outside. Certainly there are some things that that just were, were limited by maybe what's happening out here. But most limitations actually come from the inside. And sometimes that's hard to hear because if we've walked through difficult things, um, you know, I used to say when I was walking through some challenges, like, well, I couldn't help it. You know, I didn't have any control over this. It just happened to me. And, And there are some times that that is the case. However, when we have the word of God in us, when we really take this in and realize, yes, that was difficult but that does not need to limit me 
or stop me from a bright future or going forward. And sometimes it's hard to step into an area where we've experienced pain, um, where we've experienced maybe some trauma or just a negative experience in our life. And that past experience can actually limit us or put that glass ceiling in our life. And we need God. We need the Word of God. We need that relationship with Him to help us to see what He has for our life outside of those limits. So daily learning to see ourselves as God sees us is helpful and remembering the value that He places on us will give us the courage to push through those scary times, those glass ceilings, those those bad memories, and just remember that Jesus paid your and my ransom. He's washed us clean as new fallen snow, and he opens up, up endless opportunities before us. Life is full of experiences, some good and some bad, which can mold our future. But there are times that we can carry those bad things into the new parts of our life. And that's where we say, no, God, we want you to reframe this for us. And we're going to see the future and we're going to see the now the way that you see it. He is on our side and he wants the best for us. I want to share just um, a little bit here before we go into the activation. Something just came to mind as I was um, going through this devotional. You know, sometimes we do definitely look at the future, but sometimes the now is affected by those limits. And the way that it's affected is that we can see things through a lens of negative experiences, past sin, whatever that might be. And so when we're in a situation today, we're not even seeing a present situation correctly. You know, when we are in condemnation, shame, fear, all those things, it causes us to see life through a warped perspective. And what this is going to help you with in glass ceiling shattered on purpose is when we go to the Lord and ask him to show us those things, he will reveal those areas in our life that we're not seeing things right and help us to re-see our current situation through his lens. I can't tell you how many times I've woke up in the morning and just had something really on my heart that was stressing me out. Um, and I was seeing something that it just seemed bad, you know, whether it's something at work, whether it's something in finances, maybe it's even something with health, uh, I don't know, whatever it might be, relationship. And I've learned that when I'm feeling that, it's time to get into the word and find out what God says about the situation and frankly, to straighten out my vision and my thinking. So I see the current situation the way that God sees it, which is the right way to view it. And I've had many, many days and times where nothing has changed in the natural, but I've gotten God's perspective on it and I've changed. So instead of going through a day miserable, frustrated, in fear, whatever, getting God's view on things. And if you catch it early, it will kind of stop that suffering, right? <laughs> and even though nothing has changed on the outside, it's changed on the inside, which in turn changes the world around us. Isn't that exciting? I hope that's helped someone today. All right, here's the activation. Get that journal out in your vision to reality pen, right? Write this down. As you are aware of, are you aware of any glass ceilings in your life? So ask that question when you're with the Lord. Am I aware of any glass ceilings in my life? What are they, Lord? Have, have you been fighting and railing against them? Or have you decided life is just that way? And what I'm saying is that when we have those areas in our life, sometimes we just have lost that, I don't know, fight in us or, or maybe that hope that something could change. And we want to have the Holy Spirit bring those areas to mind and, and show us like, Lord, have I just given up on this? Or is this something that, that if I get your perspective on, 
we're going to go after this area that's been limiting in my life. That's what we're after. And then as the Lord reveals limitations to you, make a list and watch him rescue you each time. Isn't that awesome? All right, let's finish up with this declaration and say this with me. God is my hero and he will defeat my enemies. Limitations will no longer keep me from breaking through to a beautiful and a broad place.